Dell reportedly is in talks to buy EMC in what could be the biggest tech deal ever. The Wall Street Journal reporting an agreement could be reached within a week. I'm joined by S&P's equity analyst, Angelo Zeno. Angelo, good to see you. This is an interesting story. EMC we know has been under pressure from an activist investor. Would a deal like this make sense for those EMC shareholders? I, I think, you know, the answer to that would be it, it depends uh, on the price. So if we kind of look at, at, at the kind of the, the potential offer here, I mean, and why EMC is looking to do this, there's really three main reasons. Uh, one is if you kind of look at EMC's stock price here over the last several years, it's really been stuck in the mud. And uh, at this point, they really have to do something for their shareholders. I think to, you, to your point, we've got that uh, activist investor in Elliott Management, and they're clearly putting a lot of pressure uh, on the company ever since taking a stake uh, last year. And then finally, you've got a CEO in Joe Tucci who's uh, on, you know, a about to exit uh, the company, and there's no succession plan in place. So I think you've got a whole bunch of moving pieces in place, but it all depends on the type of uh, the, the price that they they get in the end of the, at the end of the day. What's your sense on what price would make sense? Well, from indications we've heard, you know, you're looking at a floor price potentially of $27. Our 12-month target price is $30, so we obviously would think uh, a price in that $27, $28 range would significant, un, significantly undervalue um, the true value of the company. So let's now take it from Dell's point of view. Why does it make sense for Dell? EMC has its issues. It actually had a drop in profits in the last quarter. So why does Dell want something like this so bad that it be willing perhaps to pay a pretty penny? Yeah, I think you know, what Michael Dell is looking to hear, do here is really create a total, um, you know, a total enterprise um, technology company similar to what we've seen uh, with HP and the IBMs of the world. So, you know, what EMC does is it'll give them greater scale. It, it gives them instant significant market share within the, the storage arena. And I think, you know, the goal here is really to kind of leverage the two businesses and continue to, to uh, expand aggressively in those markets to gain market share. And I think you know, that's a big reason why Michael Dell took the company privately is because he didn't want to be in the face of all the shareholders out there and question his thought process. And he's kind of now given full kind of, uh, he's able to do what he wants to do. And that's, you know, what you're seeing here. So what would happen with VMware, do you think? So uh, the most likely scenario would be uh, VMware ha would have to get spun out uh, if the, you know if there's if the scenario were to evolve. It, it just we think from a financial perspective, there is no way Dell would be able to absorb the 50 billion plus market cap size of EMC. So a spinoff uh, of uh, VMware would make sense. And if you actually look at the value of EMC. About two-thirds of the value of the company right now is coming from cash on hand and the, that VMware stake. So it helps uh, you know, reduce some of the financial burden there. So Angelo, do you think if this deal happens, would there be any other disruptions or follow-on deals based on what we see with Dell and EMC? Uh, in one sense, from other technology companies across the space? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we're in an age right now uh, where we're seeing um, not only a lot of deals, um, despite the recent pause here over the last several months, but I think you're also seeing larger um, scale transactions. Earlier this year, we had the announcement of Avago and Broadcom, which right now would stand as the largest uh, you know, transaction, uh, pure play transaction ever in the technology space. So I think you're going to see larger scale transactions, especially across the technology hardware supply chain here, because scale does matter. S&P Capital IQ analyst Angelo Zeno, good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.